Tua Tungavailoa's rookie year wasn't what he expected, even if nobody truly knew what to expect from him in 2020. Tungavailoa, who was selected with the number 5 pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, finished 6-3 as a starter for the Miami Dolphins. He successfully returned from a career-threatening hip injury and helped push the Dolphins from 5-11 in 2019 to 10-6 and the fringe of the AFC playoff picture. He had a pair of 300-yard games and three games with fewer than 100 yards passing, ups and downs that most rookies experience at the position. So, what did Tungavailoa expect? Would he trade his opularity for success on the field, in a heartbeat? I would say with the hip talk and whatnot, to that there is no excuse for me, Tungavailoa told Sporting News on Tuesday. Even with the hip or not the hip, I didn't play the way I wanted to play. For me, I was very comfortable before I stepped foot on the field, he said. I just like I could have done things a lot different when the season had happened as far as preparation for teams that we were playing. Tungavailoa did not make his first appearance until week 6. He made his first start against the Los Angeles Rams the following week. Tungavailoa won his first three starts. He finished with 1,814 passing yards, 11 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. He added three rushing TDs. The numbers were comparable to number one pick Joe Burrow, who missed the last six games of the season after suffering a knee injury. Tungavailoa might have been a week one starter if he didn't suffer a dislocated hip with a fracture to the posterior wall in a game against Mississippi State on November 16, 2019. That ended a prolific college career in which he piled up 7,442 yards, 87 TDs and 11 interceptions in three seasons with Alabama. For Tungavailoa, it was less about coming back from the hip injury and more about meeting the expectations that come with being a starter in the NFL. I felt prepared, he said. I felt like I was ready to get in the game, and I believe our coaches felt the same way. This past season, it didn't go the way I expected it to go. It was a good experience. It was a good first year under my belt. I'm just working hard this offseason to achieve what I expected to achieve last year. Those high standards were set in college at Alabama. He won the national championship as a freshman and finished second to Kyler Murray in the Heisman Trophy voting as a sophomore. The hip injury came the week after a number one versus no. Two showdown with Burrow and LSU. Tungavailoa handled the big NFL stage well as a rookie. He and Murray starred in a week eight shootout that the Dolphins won 34 to 31. Tungavailoa also passed for 316 yards, two TDs and an interception in a duel with Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs won a 33 to 27 thriller. As a result, Tungavailoa has maintained that status as one of the league's most popular players. Tungavailoa's popularity has carried over from college, as his jersey ranks among the top five sellers on NFL.com. I'd say it did surprise me, but it shows the support the fans in Miami and Dolphins Nation have for our team, Tungavailoa said. It's very honorable to say the least that a lot of Dolphins fans want to buy my jersey. At the end of the day, I think popularity falls on the last of my list of things that I want. I just want to help my team win games, man, he said. If I could give up the whole popularity deal and win a Super Bowl, then one would do that in a heartbeat. Tungavailoa also has been the center of trade rumors this offseason on a quarterback carousel that produces more unexpected turns than ever before. He addressed how he handles those rumors during Super Bowl week, and he said the focus remains within this offseason. I'd expect more from me, and for any competitor, you're going to be your biggest critic, Tungavailoa said. If you don't get your team to the big dance and whatnot. I understand we're playing in the NFL. It's either that, or you shouldn't be playing the game. That is the goal heading into his second season. Tungavailoa wants to lead the Dolphins to a playoff run and build on the modest success as a rookie coming off the hip injury. That's the expectation now. I can say a lot of the things I want to work on, they have to do with preparation, Tungavailoa said. How to do certain things with coming to the line pre-snap, post-snap, identification right off the bat. A lot of those things, I'm working on right now and I don't want to share too much.